I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'm really good at this. <laughs> spent the morning out at a secret location. So we love really playing up this idea of the traditional buffet, but just in a really elegant kind of way. Am I supposed to blow it out? <laughs> I did tell you I didn't know what I was doing. There it goes, it's dripping. I'm telling you, it's busy, but it's gonna be fabulous and so much fun, so I'm very excited for them. Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we thought it'd be really fun to just invite you into our home. We thought it'd be really fun to invite you guys in to just a fun little vlog of us getting ready for the holidays and some of the traditions that we have. Some are old, some are new. And it's starting out with things like this charcuterie board and I've got gifts to wrap and there's lots to prepare. And we just thought it'd be really fun to just invite you into our home just as you would if we could actually invite all of you in. I just love so much to have you guys a part of our home and we're ready to light the fire and the candles and to get in a super festive mood. And we hope that you will enjoy just getting to hang out with us at the house of Valentina, the home of Valentina. So let's jump in, shall we? We're starting out with our charcuterie board. This is something that we prepare a lot at the holiday season. It's something that we prepare for our families because what we found is that a lot of times everyone's kind of running between one house and the other. You're visiting a lot. So sometimes someone is super hungry and then someone's not hungry at all. So we love really playing up this idea of the traditional buffet, but just in a really elegant kind of way. So at the moment we have our table loaded up with just beautiful salamis and crackers and mustards and jams. And there's little things hidden underneath with little cheeses and there's hot chocolate bombs and we'll have this filled with nice hot milk so we can make some little hot chocolates and we've got some beautiful Scandinavian cookies and this to us is what home feels like to us at the holidays and we just absolutely love it. So we are going to enjoy this little snack and this little meal and then we'll meet you back here in the morning and we've got a ton to wrap up and get ready for underneath the tree. favorites. Ooh, I like the salami. I know, I want some bread. It's my favorite part. I'm gonna get some bread as well, make a salami. A little sandwich. A little salami. Let's do this. I call this palami because it looks like, you know, salami and a pepperoni put together, so I call it palami. That's the Italian word for it. <laughs> Ooh, definitely going to have to come back from some cookies in a second. Yeah, same. All right, let's get a little more meat and then let's go sit down. Ooh. Do I cut it with this? Yeah. Here, just take a little piece. Can we help you? There you go. Well, good morning. I've been out and it's one of those days, already up and running, but I spent the night wrapping a whole bunch of presents and now I'm excited to decorate them just a little bit. You can see what I've done is that I've already gotten a whole bunch of them wrapped and put ribbons on them. And then another thing that I did is that I very carefully, for some of these that needed to be marked with the names, I put a little name tag on them and gently taped it to the ribbon so that I could be able to come back later and actually decorate these tags. Ideally, you would probably want to decorate the tags in advance, but yeah, I didn't do it that way. <laughs> so today I wanted to decorate some tags. I wanted to finish tying a few bows on these packages because every year that I do a gift wrapping little DIY video, everybody always wants to know how I wrap, how I, how I tie the bow. So I'm going to go over all that with you. I've got some supplies that I've never even used these things before. I went out and I got 
this gorgeous little wax seal set. I found these at Paper Source. They do have them on places like Amazon and I went to Michael's. They didn't have them in the store. So I lucked out. I was trying to get it as quickly as possible so that I could video this before Christmas. <laughs> but you can actually get them quickly on Amazon as well if you don't have a store near you. Some of the other supplies that I'm gonna be working with today are this incredible ribbon. I got this off of Amazon. It's this beautiful, just, I mean, it's just amazing. Look at this stunning velvet ribbon. And then this one I actually bought last year, and that's what's so great about buying in bulk like this. I have used this ribbon a million times this year. You can have it where the stripe is showing and you can have it where just the black is showing. So that's really, really fun. And then I've got some green that I actually found at Paper Source as well. I've got Baker's Twine. Love this stuff. It lasts so long and it's perfect for tying to ornaments and tying packages. You could literally just tie the Baker's Twine around your package and that's a beautiful look as well. I've got some tags. I've got some of these from Michaels. I had another set from Crate and Barrel. You can definitely order them on Amazon. I also have a pack of cards. I found these cute little stamps at Michael's. What else? Of course, you've got to have your scissors. I am a little bit old school. I find that a lot of times if I use double-sided tape with the heavier papers, it doesn't stay in place and then I get agitated when it comes undone. It's kind of like inviting your kids to go and stick their finger in there and, and unwrap it. I may have had a grandmother that wrapped her stuff like that and I always knew what I was getting for Christmas before it came. So <laughs> I didn't tell my mom about that until I was an adult, but my brother and I always knew what we were getting from our grandmother. So <laughs> I have it securely put down with some regular tape and oh, and I've got VersaFine and this is an amazing little black ink pad. This is one of the best if you wanna be able to stamp. So. There you go, I think that's it. I have never used this, so I'm gonna be playing with it. I've got a little foil set down, so I have somewhere to set it when I'm not using it. But I think I'm gonna just unpack a bunch of these little tags and the cards and have them ready so I could make a few of them. And I was thinking that I wanted to put maybe some greenery with the stamp. I'm gonna go grab some greenery from the garden and I'll meet you back here and let's just play for a few minutes and see what we end up with, okay? All right, let's go. I have, look at these cute little scissors I have that are perfect for trimming little pieces off of the bushes out in the garden. So I've got a little bit off of our cypress. I don't even actually know what this one is. I can't remember. I think it's a cedar, maybe. It's beautiful. I don't need a lot. Then I've also got some rosemary that's growing out in the garden. And all this smells so good, it's ridiculous. And then I've got some lavender, which that was still rosemary. <laughs> the, ro the rosemary and the lavender actually look quite similar, but the uh, lavender is softer. So um, I'm just gonna, I was thinking maybe it'd be pretty to like place a little piece down like this and try to stamp over it. That may be incredibly ambitious and this may be the ultimate fail, but I'm gonna bring you guys around. I'm gonna tie the bow and I'm gonna play with this stuff and see what I end up with. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys that I also had these ornaments that I grabbed at Crate and Barrel. I thought those were so pretty and would be so beautiful hanging on there. So even if you are not a DIYer, if you have some really beautiful little ornaments like this, they look amazing. Look at how pretty he is. Won't that be amazing on these packages? So it's still very chic, it's still very elegant, but it's also soft and just a little bit romantic, I think. I have not done a DIY in so long. I'm like, oh my goodness, can I actually pull this off? I have to try to set up the camera so you guys can see. Oh my goodness. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to tie this bow because I'm gonna start with the easiest first. I guess the easiest would be, um, see how I've got that little name tag tied on there just gently with the tape so I would remember whose this was. 
So tying a bow should be the easiest part, although I think tying the thing to the bow is probably the simplest. But I wanna make sure that I have enough ribbon. I think that's the number one mistake that people make is that they're so busy trying to conserve ribbon that they, they just, you cannot try to conserve that much and then if you end up with too little, it will never look nice. So you wanna make sure that you've got it evenly put on here, which kinda of goes out of camera, but you can see how I've got it even. And then just pull it nice and tight. I'm gonna wrap this one around this side here. So I'm just gonna pull this super tight. You can do this without putting a knot in it. But see how I'm tying, I'm putting my finger down to keep it super, super tight. You want it to be as tight as possible. So I just tie a really tight knot. You need it to be this tight or else you're doomed from the beginning. So that's really important to tie that knot first. And that's why I typically will tie a knot, especially if I'm in a rush. So we've got the one little bunny ear. Now, because this is reversible, I'm gonna use the black for that side so that when the bunny ear comes out again, my bow matches. Now you can see, because this is double-sided, I've created a little bit of a problem for myself, but we're gonna fix that very simply. You can have your bow, if you like it, like this, and I feel like that's like super traditional and very pretty. But I really like for it to be a little bit messier. So what I'll do is I just sort of fiddle with it just a little bit to get the little ribbons going opposite direction rather than the same. And then once I've got it kind of positioned, I'm just gonna grab these and pull really tight. Just like that. It only takes a second. Probably took longer to explain it than it would have to actually do it. But I tie ribbons on most of my packages because I think it just makes it so pretty and it makes it so festive and now my husband is going to think, wow, what did she get me? I think the next easiest thing to do is to just simply create a little stamp on here and I'm gonna use one of these as my messy. As you can see, we have super glue on this table and that's because I am notorious for not protecting my table and that stuff does not come back up, so. <laughs> you may want to put something down underneath. So I'm gonna do a little test and see, okay, yeah, that just went on so easily. And I like this VersaFine ink because it doesn't take too long to actually dry. And I'm not gonna put it on the whole thing, I'm gonna do it off to the side. That's really pretty, if I can pull it up. There we go. Look how pretty that is. I think it means a lot to people if you take your time to create something for them. I think that people recognize how busy life is and they appreciate when you take time to create something just for them. I am so nervous. I, I literally am about as nervous as I could possibly be. Isn't that absurd? I'm going to... Oh my gosh, okay, this is so scary. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'm really good at this. <laughs> this is why I better not quit my day job, okay? <laughs> okay, so it said that we just light this thing. And that apparently we're supposed to leave it horizontal. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to blow it out? <laughs> I did tell you that I didn't know what I was doing. There it goes, it's dripping. Okay. And all my kids just came home. Hello. I am attempting to do crafts. Aren't you so proud of me? I did. And I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm supposed to keep it closer. How does it not? I'm test trying. Out of the way. You did? Yeah. You got your head at hardest test out of the way? Yeah. I did you get a good grade? Uh, I don't think I get the grades back until I don't know why. Oh, I'm proud of you. Can you give me a kiss? I don't have this. I've got the camera going right now. 
Hi, baby. Hi. I love you. I love you too. Oh, 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 look, it did it. Oh, wow. Okay, this one I messed up because I should have put the green, put the green ring in it afterwards. Oh my gosh, even that one though. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I've got the idea of it. Let's see if we can actually knock some of these out. Okay, so we have discovered that the best way to do this is to create your circle, then put your greenery in, and then stamp over it. Hopefully that's showing up. So Landon and I are gonna make some more crafts here for a few minutes and see if we can make some more of these work. I think it'd be pretty without the greenery too. I'm gonna try that next. That was really good fun. And actually I was pretty impressed with what we could do as complete and absolute amateurs who have never tried something like this before. And I, as a perfectionist, have to say that I think some of the imperfections actually make it feel even more real and special. So that's just my take on it. I've got a few boxes back here of stuff that we are shipping out from our big giveaway. And we're gonna run out and do a couple errands and then come back and do some baking. So I'm going to be revisiting this whole thing when it comes to giving out gifts to some family, friends, and neighbors. So I think you'll be seeing more of this, but I think for now, this was awesome. And we're gonna run back, we're gonna run out actually to Target to try to get some more gift boxes and some supplies because I think I used almost every single piece of wrapping paper in the entire house last night. So I need to get some more supplies and then we are gonna head back here and start some holiday baking, which I am thrilled about. So we will meet you back in just a bit. Well, we are back home and we have this gorgeous little cake pan. This takes cupcakes to a next level. And I think it's kind of like next level bunt cakes as well. So my, my intention is to make gingerbread cakes because that's what your dad wanted. <laughs> but somebody has a party tomorrow to go to. So I was thinking, let's make your flavor first and then I'll make dad's gingerbread cakes if I have time now okay. or I'll make them later okay. if I need to. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay, so we are gonna get to work and make some velvet cakes. They would normally be called red velvet cakes, except there's no way I'm putting that much red dye in anything. I'm feeding to the kids, just being perfectly honest. So, we're gonna make velvet cakes. Yeah. <laughs> you all right there? Yeah. <laughs> Had a little too much time at Target? Yes. Left you a little loopy? <laughs> all right, we're gonna get to work and uh, we get to fire up that bad boy. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hello and good morning. It's been a very exciting day at the House of Valentina. I spent the morning out at a secret location. I really cannot give out more yet, but very soon I'm going to be making, hopefully, a very fun announcement about a project that is coming to this channel very, very soon. And I'm just waiting to make sure that it does actually go through. So. I got up very early <laughs> and I was gone for quite some time. But, um, and I was up very, very late baking and wrapping gifts. So it's that time of year when there's always this flurry of activity and we've added on that we have something super exciting that we're working on. And so I am just like buzzed. <laughs> and then I'm like, I need a nap. <laughs> Bring on the coffee <laughs> and the cakes. So one of my favorite traditions that my family has always done, I just remember it from the time I was a little girl. My grandmother always, always had the dessert buffet. It was something that she always had in her dining room. And I remember as a little girl sneaking into the dining room when I hoped none of the grownups were looking and reaching underneath her little plastic wrap and stealing cookies. It's one of my favorite memories that I have of her house, of her, her home. And for me, every year, the smell of baked goods in the house, it just reminds me of being at home with her. And so I love 
to have just this, I call it the, the dessert buffet. It's the cookie buffet, but I have added cakes to it. So what's really fun is I've made quite a bit already. This is a, this is a first round. I find that I end up having to do this in rounds because I do one round and we eat most of those. <laughs> and then I need to do another round. And those are the ones that actually get to the neighbors. And then I need another round for actually for Christmas day. So this round is going to be a part of a charcuterie, a dessert charcuterie that I'm going to make. So I've got a bunch of desserts. You're going to notice there's going to be an extra dose of color in this. And that's because it's going to a kid's party and I wanted to add a little bit of festivity and a little bit of color to it. That's what's so fun about this is you can really customize it to your own taste and what you really like. So we're just going to get festive here for a minute. So let's do this. with a little bit of some plastic wrap and then I've got to go finish wrapping up the secret Santa gifts. So I'm telling you, it's busy, but it's going to be fabulous and so much fun. So I'm very excited for them. So let me go wrap and I will meet you guys back in just a bit. Well, my boy, <laughs> my boys are getting very anxious and they're just like, come on, mom, come on, mom, come on, mom, come on, mom. Anybody else with kids that do that? <laughs> like, I'm rushing. Okay, people. <laughs> It's a secret Santa. We have to make sure that these look beautiful, okay? So I've got some really, really cute tags. I found these at Target. Look at this. Is this just not the most adorable thing you have ever seen in your life? I love these. I adore these. I think that they are so beautiful. And we are going to put these on the gifts. And you guys always wanna know, do I only do black and white? Well, <laughs> this is a kid's party and sometimes they just really like some color. So we're going to put a really pretty ribbon on this really fast. And then we're going to tie the bow on. So in just moments, we have something that looks so chic. This one's going to land in. Secret Santa, so shh, don't tell him. <laughs> I think he may have figured out that I'm his secret Santa at the party. <laughs> He's actually getting to go to the big kids party, so it's a pretty big deal for him. And uh, hopefully with a ton of sugar in him, he will still behave. <laughs> but um, I mean, this is just, you know when something's like so cute, it almost feels ridiculous that it's just so cute? That's definitely one of these moments. I mean, just stop, just stop. I mean, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look at that. So cute. And then I've got one more. You got your elves back there? Mm -hmm. Did your elves give you something special today? Yeah, they gave me some. Speakable pens and erasers. Ooh, is that your favorite YouTube channel besides your mom's, of course? Yes. Yes. All right, last one. Super cute. You take that. You take these. Yep. Can you carry one more? Out the door you go and off to party. Dad, you got the charcuterie? Yeah. There you go. We did it. <laughs>